Hey everyone, it is Kim and we are back for part two of, sorry, I'm actually just walked the stairs, um, of my giant Hushner's yarn haul. I just got back from taking the first section of it to my storage unit. I'm now going to go through the other four tubs that I've got sorted. And then there'll be one more section to this video where I show what is left because there's still two more boxes that need to be sorted. What I'm showing in this video will be the rest of the standard wash to date yarn that I got. And I'm going to start showing the Red Heart Super Saver that I got. The boxes outside is more Red Heart Super Saver and a few more wash to dates and um, other types, not just the. Um, standard solids. Uh, so if you've not seen part one, it'll be linked down below. I'm not sure how like quick these will be coming out, but um, for those that haven't seen it, this is not me showing off anything. This is just me showing what I ordered from Hushner's. So the first color that I've got now, and I've Again, for those that haven't seen it, this is the worsted egg balls, the worsted um, yarn, 100% acrylic, size 4 worsted weight, and these are 8 ounces. So the first one I have is this color, which is coming up darker now, but this is blue smoke, which is a really dark teal color. That's blue smoke. I then bought two of the True Red, which this is blown out, but this is a nice uh, neutral red color. I have some of this already from the Christmas colors, but as I said about the green, I can always use more of them. I have two of the Royal Blue. Two of the Royal Blue. I'm definitely getting some shadows and some bad colors in here today. It's not as true to color as I would like it. This is Sterling, which is another blue. Most of this box is definitely blue. This is Sterling. One of the only things not blue is Meadow. This is Meadow, which is a really pretty green. Um, I only have one of these because I already have two in my stash. This is Sandstone. I use this one as a Caucasian skin tone. This is Sandstone. So I already have two um, in my stash like some of the other skin tones. This is Midnight. Nice dark, dark blue. We then have, this one's really pretty, it's Sea Spray really pretty um, these other two I use for skin tone so I only have one of each this is walnut this is walnut I then have espresso and again all three of the ones I use for skin tones and the fourth one that was in the first video I already have two of each of those in my stash so I just got one and the last one from this one is China Blue China Blue this one has some lints on it so that is it for the first box let's grab the second box and see what's in there let me load these back up real quick and we will see what's in the second box Sorry for moving you around. I right. hope I'm not making anybody dizzy or anything. Alright, so if this is the last box of the Worsh to Date in solids in the standard one. I've got two okay, I guess. Let me see. It's a goldenish brownish color. Got two of those. I've got two of lingonberry. And I see teal. Let's 
is also Periwinkle. Which this one and one of the Red Heart Super Savers, I'm going to be doing a special project with. I'll discuss that when we get to it in the Super Saver. Mahogany. It's mahogany. We then have Army, which is a really good Army green. Olive. Olive. We then have chambray or chambray. Let's see if I get that to focus. There you go. Two of those. And then the last. No. I lied. There's two more. I've got Victorian red, which I have some of this too. It's a deeper red than the true red. Um, I bought two of those and I already had some of those um, from... Because you can buy these... Oh, no, wait. I only have that in Sparkle Yarn. Never mind. I don't have that one in Standard Yarn. I only have that in Holiday Sparkle Yarn. The last one is Gunmetal. A nice light bluish gray. So that is it for the solid standard worsted eight yarns. I do have some worsted eight baby in the other boxes outside, but I'm going to come back and start showing you my Red Heart haul. Alright, I am back with Red Heart. The Red Heart yarn was. Let me see if I can find it on my thing without shaking you too bad. Now, with Red Heart, some I only ordered one, some I ordered two, some I ordered three, some I ordered four. So, this one's a little more confusing, but these were $3.29 a scheme, which right here, that's about what they are at Walmart. Um, but that was, of course, before the 20% off, so they were like $2.60. Alright, I think the ones, how I have them sorted in here is all together, but I would have to check my form. This, and for those, the solid um, Red Heart Super Saver, it's a Worsted Weight, number four. And these are seven ounces. So this is the coil color. I got two coils. I got two of the grenadine, which are blown out, but these are more purplish than they're coming up, or more, um, not as bright, I guess you could say, they are pretty bright, but this is grenadine. I got two blue suede. Blue suede. A lot of these I do not even have in my stash. Some of these, like grenadine, I've got one. Um, this is the backbone of what I use is Red Heart Super Saver, so that's why there's a lot of it. But there's some colors I've never even seen before, like blue suede. And our Walmart down here, because we only have Walmart locally, our Walmart down here has really diminished how much they're actually carrying. So... I went a little red heart crazy. You've got two blue suede. I got two carrot. And this is what I use from when I make a fox. I usually use carrot. So I've got two of those. I've got two gold. Which this is pretty close to our school colors, purple and gold. This gold is pretty close to it. So I make quite a bit with that around here. I got two cafe latte. I got two of the pale plum, which this is considerably lighter than um, the light orchid. This is pale plum. And then I got two of the pale yellow. 
two of those. I got two of the light gray. And then two of the amethyst. Because the amethyst and the gold, these are school colors for our college. So I use quite a bit of those. Now the last one that is in this box is um, the, what I was talking about, and that is the light periwinkle. This is a more of a bluish tone. There is an organization that is started by a wonderful lady, and she is on a mission to crochet zebras um, for children battling pH which I'll go into more of what that is and everything about it but the color is this um, is the color that represents pH works so they're using a lot of that and um, the other version that I have in the Hershner's I can also use and I can also make black and white too but um, she is looking for help in order to get the zebras made and it is using Sweet Oddity Arts zebra pattern. So I contacted her and I'll be making a couple zebras over the next couple weeks and shipping them out to children. There is there's something I want to do and I'll discuss this in greater length when I'm not hot and sweaty for one. But um when I film my catch-up video, I would love y'all's opinion on something. It's a project that I've had kind of in my mind and in my heart for the last, before I even learned how to sew and crochet for that long. So I want to um, kind of get y'all's opinion, but I'll do that in the, in my catch-up video when I get that filmed, which will probably by this point be Monday morning. Um, but let's look at the last tub that I have. This is tub number four or tub number eight of this is now we'll be about two thirds of the way through. Alright, so this one I got two real teal. I got two of those. I got two honeydew. This one's really nice. I like this color. I'll definitely be using this one. I've never seen that one. And another one. Let me look at my invoice. Because I thought I had ordered more of this one. Two honeydew. It's not an alphabetic order, so I'm having to... No, only, it's the last one other thing. I only ordered two. I'll definitely be ordering more of this because, as I've said before, I'm going to make one more Joanne's order. And I definitely want more of this color. This is fresh mint. And this is not like it looks in the viewfinder. Um, it's looking blue. It is definitely like a beautiful mint green. And I definitely want more of this. I only have the two. But I will definitely add this to my um, final Joann's order. Because I do have a Joann's order coming. And then when the blanket yarn goes on a deep sell, I'm going to do one more purchase of that. And then I'm also doing a big purchase of DK weight yarn. And then that will complete my yarn buying for 12 months. But I definitely know I'm going to use a lot of that fresh mint. So I definitely want more of that. I've got two baby pinks. I bought three because I already have, I think, three of these in stash. Pretty in pink, which is the beautiful hot pink. I mix this with turqua and I mix it with um, bonbon print. So yeah, I that one is one of my most popular colors. So having six skeins of that maybe won't even last me the year. 
orchid. I got two orchids. I got two of the Delft Blues. Two of the Dark, or dark Orchid. I got two of the Shocking Pink, which is a lot more purple. You would think that the grenadine that I showed would be Shocking Pink, but this is definitely more purple than it is pink. But I bought two of those. And then the last ones in this box is Jade, and I got two of the Jade. Now, it's starting to get shadowy in here, so these colors are not coming up as true to form as I would like them to. So, I'm not going to... Probably not going to be able to get the other two boxes filmed today, but they will be filmed in out as soon as possible. Again, I'm definitely, I want more of this fresh mint. It is beautiful. Ah, uh, well, I'm going to now load these up into my car along with some other yarn in the house and get these taken to storage. Thank you all for watching part two. Make sure you join me for part three very soon. Bye.